In this video, we are going to discuss about web scripting languages. So let's first see what is a script. Script is a set of instructions written using any programming language which is interpreted by any other program. Just make a note that it is interpreted, it is not compiled. A program that is interpreted is only converted into machine level language. It is not ready for execution. For execution, it has to be compiled. Now, what is web scripting? Embedding scripts within web pages to make them dynamic is called web scripting. You have a web page where you are displaying some data. That is fixed. Displaying of data, text is fixed. Now, say for example, you want to make it more interactive. Why you want to make it more interactive? Suppose you want to put in a poll there where users can give their ideas or opinions or you want to have a chart or a pie chart or a bar graph that varies according to the number of visitors who are coming or clicking on a certain page. So these are all elements that cannot be decided beforehand when the web page is being made. This is decided only when the user visits. So for these dynamic elements, there are some programming codes written. They are not compiled because they are not to be executed. They are just kept in the interpreted form within the whole program and when the user does some x, y, z thing at that point of time that script, that embedded script will be executed. That is called the web script. Now web script can be of two types, client side scripting and server side scripting. If that script is embedded so that it is executed on the client side. That means it is executed by the web browser or the user's computer itself. That is called client side scripting. Some of the popular languages used are JavaScript, VBScript, Ajax, etc. The another type of scripting is server side scripting. This type of scripting needs that the script is taking input from the user but after taking the input from the user it is sent to the server and the server can only execute those scripts. Usually these are related to the database, database that is stored on the web server. User had made some choices regarding those databases since the computer on which the user is sitting or working has no access to database, it sends that script to be executed at the server side. Some of the popular server side scripting languages include PHP, Python, ASP, .NET, etc. So in this video, we have learned how we can make our web pages dynamic, more interactive. In the next video, we are going to see what web 2.0 is.